we don't want to give you that. Whatever happens, Peter, the great news is you know that you go home with at least that amount of money. What do you have as a sort of ambition? I mean, everybody has a figure they think, well, as long as I get to that, that'll be good. Really, we had such a great time when we came here just to sit here. It was. So just you, don't really want this, then. Then. you don't really want this, then? I'll take it just in case. You know. <laughs> take a look at question number 11. It's worth £64,000. Which saint founded the monastery at Iona? St. Columba, St. Augustine, St. Benedict, St. Patrick. Which saint founded the monastery at Iona? St. Columba, St. Augustine, St. Benedict, St. Patrick. You've got two lifelines. thinking? I'm thinking it's uh, St. Columba. It's worth 64,000. You have got two lifelines. No, I'll play St. Columba. I'll play St. Columba. Final answer. You had 32,000 pounds. You just won another 32,000 pounds to go with it. Whoa! Have a look at that. It's good, isn't it? £64,000. But we don't want to give you that. I tell you what we'd like to give you, Peter. Have a look. I'd like to give you that. I'd love to give you that. £125,000. That's the next amount of money you could be playing for. But you are four away from £1 million. Why are you grinning, Peter? Because I'm one away going back to 32, really. <laughs> Be positive. <laughs> yeah, take your time. Have a good look. You've got those two lifelines. Question number 12 is worth the huge amount of £125,000. This is the question. Which of these paper sizes is the largest? Royal. Imperial. Elephant. Crown. Now, you don't have to play this question. Oh, 50 50, please. Okay, computer, take away two wrong answers. Leave Peter the right answer and the one remaining wrong answer. Now, one of those would cost you £32,000, one of those would win you £125,000. You've still got one lifeline. Take the lifeline as well, please. OK, you can play the lifeline, still take the money, obviously. OK, audience, no pressure. It's worth £125,000, everybody, on your keypads. Let's try and get Peter up to 125. He's on 64. B or C, audience, all vote now. Seventy-eight per cent say Imperial, 22 per cent say Elephant. Elephant, but I'm not going to play. It's up to you. I'm not going to play, no. Final answer, you can take the money? Final answer, take the money. Tell you what, I think Caroline is absolutely <laughs> delighted. Just wants to go, I think. <laughs> Give him a big hand. <laughs> Peter Gaynor goes away with £64,000. Peter, I can tell you... If you had stuck with your gut instinct and gone for elephant, you would have just lost £32,000. 78% of this audience were right. The right answer was Imperial. I still didn't think he did the right thing. He goes away. £64,000. Good on, mate. It's been a pleasure. Well done. Well now it's time to meet tonight ten brand new contestants. They are. Patrick Boozer from Suffolk. Jenny Woodhead from West Yorkshire. Brian Manson from Edinburgh. Lynn Richardson from Lancashire. Stevie Allen from Fife. John Cunningham from Cardiff. Mary McMillan from Glasgow. Andy Dowd from Gwent. 
Sue Fuller from the Isle of Wight. And Richard Evans from West Yorkshire. A very excitable audience for that, right? 78% knew the right answer as well. It's fastest finger first. Whoever puts the four answers in the correct order in the fastest time is next to the play for one million pounds. Audience, no calling out, please. Fastest finger first. Here comes the question. Starting with the earliest, put these Robert Redford films in the order of their first release. All the President's Men, The Sting, The Horse Whisperer, Indecent Proposal. Several of you finished nice and quick. Let's see. Let's get the right order then, first and foremost. Starting with the earliest. Uh, Sting was the farthest back in 1973. All the President's Men was 76. Uh, Indecent Proposal was more recent, 1992. Horse Whisperer, most recent, 1998. That's the right order. Now, let's find out who got it right, and then, most important, who got it right in the fastest time. These got it right. Who was fastest? John Cunningham, 6.27 seconds. <laughs> Thank you. number one for £100, hopefully nice and straightforward. Have a look at it. Here it is. Which card game is also the name of a ginger biscuit, old maid, solo, snap, happy families? Snap. Snap, right answer. It's good. You've got £100. <laughs> ginger snap. Have a look, question number two. Here it is. It's worth 200 quid. On a golf course, what's the name of the strip of land between the tea and the green? Highway. Runway, fairway, long way. That's fairway. That's the right answer. Don't look so worried. It's worth 200 quid. <laughs> Have a look. Question number three is worth 300 pounds. Here it comes. What was the traditional shout of the town crier? Oh, yay. Alleluia. How's that? It's behind you. <laughs> Oh, yay. It's the right answer. You got 300 quid. <laughs> right, John, let's get you up to £1,000. I'm sure you feel a lot calmer when you get there. Question number four is worth 500. Have a look at it. Here it is. Which of these might be colloquially described as bodice rippers, novels, chili peppers, video stores, office parties? <laughs> All in their way. <laughs> but I suspect the answer is novels. It's the right answer, you've got £500. <laughs> Let's get to question number five, and this is it. You've got three lifelines. It's worth a guaranteed minimum of £1,000. Here we go. Who topped the UK singles charts in 1999 with Lift Me Up? Madonna, Celine Dion, Jerry Halliwell, Cher. It's worth £1,000. You up in your pop music? No. <laughs> Be handy. Take your time. Have a look. You've got three lifelines if you need them. I think I'd like to ask the audience, please. I thought you would. OK. Just be aware this is the last point at which you could go home with nothing. I'm sure you won't. Audience on your keypads, please. I think you'll know this one. It's worth £1,000. Let's get John up to at least that amount of money. Who topped the UK singles charts in 1999 with Lift Me Up, A, B, C or D? It's worth £1,000. All vote now. Ninety-one percent think Jerry Halliwell. Um, One percent think Madonna. Uh, Three percent Celine Dion. Five percent Cher. It's up to you. They seem a nice bunch. <laughs> <laughs> wait till you wait till you've answered. Ninety-one percent said um, Jerry Halliwell, didn't they? Ninety-one percent said Jerry Halliwell. We'll go with the audience. Will we? If they're wrong, you go home with nothing at all. I know, that's hanging over me at this time. Final answer. Indeed. It's good. Well done, everybody. It's worth £1,000. <laughs> oh.
have a look at question number six. You might as well play it, John. It's worth £2,000. Here it comes. How many pints are there in a gallon? Two, four, eight, sixteen. Eight. Final answer? Yeah. It's good. You've got £2,000. <laughs> You're better, on your, um, you're better on your pints than your pop. But you've got two life runs, John. Let's see what comes out of the computer. Number seven is worth £4,000. Here it is. Which popular pantomime is based on the story of a Lord Mayor of London? Puss in Boots, Dick Whittington, Aladdin, Sleeping Beauty. That's Dick Whittington. Final answer. Yeah. It's worth £4,000. Good luck. You've got 4,000, John, you can obviously walk away with that, but have a look at question number eight. If you give me a right answer, it's worth 8,000 pounds. You've got two lifelines left. As what is Jasper Conran famous? Painter, architect, dancer, fashion designer. He's a fashion designer. Sure? Not entirely, no. <laughs> Play? I work for a company in retail fashion. If I get this wrong, they're going to kill me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm going to say fashion designer. Final answer. They might fire me. This is the final answer. They won't fire you, you just won £8,000. <laughs> Terrified, John. Oh, you're looking like the uh, <laughs> the chemistry teacher must have looked on phone a friend earlier. <laughs> Next question is worth sixteen thousand pounds. Have a look at it. It's question number nine. You are seven away from one million. Who provides the voice of Wallace in the Wallace and Gromit films? Richard Wilson, Peter Salis, David Suchet. David Jason. You've got £8,000. That's Peter Salas. How do you know? He has a very distinctive voice. I've never seen any of these films, but I think I've seen clips. £7,000 if you're wrong, that's it. I'm going Peter Salas. Final answer. Final answer. Confident? No. <laughs> Should be, you just won £16,000. <laughs> John, you're going well, you've got £16,000. You've still got two lifelines. Next question is worth a serious check for £32,000. Tell me if you want to play it. Which explorer discovered the Victoria Falls? Ferdinand Magellan. Mungo Park, Vasco da Gama, David Livingstone. It's worth £32,000. This is a question I should know, because I think that the Victoria Falls my wife visited when I was in Zambia. But I get that one and Niagara mixed up. It's a shame you can't really talk to her now. <laughs> I don't know who Mungo Park is. And I know David Livingston was exploring that area of Africa. I'm going to say David Livingston. Final answer. Yes. Now how are you feeling? Strange. You just won £32,000. <laughs> John, whatever happens, you go home tonight with at least £32,000. You've only used one lifeline up. You're so hesitant, and yet you're right time after time. John, have a look at that. Believe that is the minimum. Hold it. Take it. Put it in your pocket. That is the minimum you will go home with tonight. Whatever happens, put it there.
Whatever happens, you'll go home with £32,000. But we'd obviously like to give you a lot more yet. You are five away from one million. Is this sinking in yet, John? Nothing is sinking in since I got off that chair. <laughs> Question number 11 of 15 for £64,000. In Japan, what is the Shinkansen? Sumo wrestling champion, Emperor's Palace, Tokyo Stock Exchange, high speed rail line. In Japan, the Shinkansen. Sumo wrestling champion, Emperor's Palace, Tokyo Stock Exchange, high speed rail line. It's worth £64,000. I'd like to find a friend, please. Okay, who are you going to find? Sally. Sally? Yeah. Okay. Don't take Sally's answer, obviously, but you might as well go for it, whatever. You have 30 seconds to tell her the question, four possible answers. Hopefully, she can get you up to £64,000. You've still got a 50 50 if you want it as well, if it helps after that. Hello? Good evening, it's Chris Tarrant here on Who